Hi, my name's Dennis, and I'd like to share a story from my childhood that I'll probably never forget. I admit, it doesn't show me at my best, but in my defense, it was something that changed me forever and fortunately made me a better person. So join me on a trip down memory lane. I was an 11-year-old kid and pretty typical for my age. Like to get a bit too carried away. Didn't quite understand the consequences of my actions. But I'm getting ahead of myself. My best friend's name was Mikey. And one summer day, he came over to my house, looking like he was about to burst with excitement. So naturally, I asked him what was up. At first, he kept saying, I can't tell you. you you'll see. Just wait. But I, being stubborn as a mule, as my mom always said, kept pushing. So, finally, Mikey cracked and blurted out that his parents had agreed to get him a dog. I was happy for my friend, but I gotta be honest, I didn't really get the hype at first. The previous summer, I'd asked my mom for a Daegu, and I remember her saying, It'll be totally your responsibility. You'll have to remember to feed it, give it clean water every day, clean its cage, everything. So if I was talked out of getting a little Daegu, I could only imagine how much work a dog would be. Well then Mikey got his puppy a few days later and invited me over to meet the little guy. I tried to play it cool like, oh yeah, neat dog, so let's go play some basketball. But let me tell you, when I held that rambunctious little creature in my hands, that was it. My heart was stolen, and I wanted one for myself too. That evening at dinner, I was on my best behavior. I helped set the table and even offered to do the dishes afterwards. And of course, my mom immediately got suspicious. When she asked what was going on, I nonchalantly brought up the fact that Mikey's parents got him a new dog. She just replied, oh, is that so? And grinned a little. Then I couldn't stand it and I finally blurted out, can I have a dog too? I promise I'll be super responsible and take care of it all by myself. I don't need a big dog. A lap dog will be fine if we don't have the space. I'll take it for walks and even train it myself. Long story short, I talked her into getting me a puppy. So not long after that, we found a tiny Yorkie and I called her Nika. We'd already gotten her lots of toys, a bed, and everything she'd need once we brought her home. During the next couple months, I spent all my time with Nika. She seemed like the best puppy in the world, kinda clumsy, curious to an extreme, and super fun to play with. And I could tell she knew I was hers and she was mine. Every time she had some puppy problems, she was looking for me. Her favorite ball rolled under the sofa and her paws were too short to reach it. Dennis to the rescue. But much to my dismay, it wasn't all about fun playtime. I tried to keep my word about training Nika, but it was the hardest thing I'd ever done in my whole life. I mean, she was pretty smart. She was already getting the basics of fetch down soon enough. Although, getting her to let go of the ball when she brought it to me was another story. But she was just so squirrely. Mom kept telling me this was typical for small dogs, but Nika was next level ball of easily distracted energy. I'd put her on a leash to take her for a walk, but the next moment she was running around the house with a leash trailing behind her. I'd find her under my bed chewing on it like she didn't know the difference between a leash and her toys. She wouldn't follow my commands to sit still or lie down. And yeah, she had a few accidents in the house, which my mom was quick to remind me that it was my job to take her out. But despite some difficulties, I was on cloud nine, until that fateful day came. I remember taking Nika for a walk to the park near our house. While she was sniffing around and doing her business, I ran into my classmate, Jake. He was on a brand new shiny bicycle, and at that moment, in my eyes, this bike was the best thing ever invented in the history of the world. I let Jake play with Nika, and in return, he let me do a few laps around the park on his bike. And you know what? In just a few seconds of riding around, I was in love. Just like that day I met Mikey's new pup, this bike became my new life goal. I dreamed about it, read about different models that came in, and I… do I have to say it? I started to neglect my little Nika. Lucky for me, my birthday was right around the corner, and I made sure my mom knew what I wanted to get as a present. 
Everything played out according to my plan. I got the very bicycle I'd been dreaming about. Big, fast, and with all the latest gizmos and upgrades. Nika seemed happy at first too, judging from her little puppy up she made while rushing after my new toy. But soon enough, I think my poor dog realized that she had a competitor. To tell you the truth, I really was spending much more time with my bike than with my pooch. I mean, I wasn't about to ask my mom to keep an eye on her because that would mean I wasn't keeping my promise to be super responsible. So I took Nika with me wherever I went with the guys to do cool tricks on our bikes. She was always running somewhere near us, but I didn't pay much attention to where she was or what she was doing. Well, on one of those days, I guess I was paying even less attention than usual because that's when it all happened. I got carried away arguing with my friends about the benefits of the latest bicycle model when it started raining. They all headed home, and I started calling to Nika, but she was nowhere to be seen. At first, I ignored the uneasy feeling in the pit of my stomach. My puppy was an independent and curious dog, and she'd gotten away from me before. But then, she always came running back as soon as I called her. Not this time. I kept calling, getting more and more panicked. No reply. No Nika. But the worst thing was, when it started getting dark, my mom would be worried about me. So I had to go home. When I got back, I told her I couldn't find Nika, and she joined me in my search. It was getting really late, and she pretty much had to drag me back home. I didn't want to give up looking, but mom kept reassuring me that she'd turn up safe and sound in no time. That night, I didn't get much sleep. I just lay there in my bed, staring up at the ceiling, with tears rolling down the sides of my head, soaking my pillow through. I kept thinking about little Nika somewhere out there, soaked, hungry, and scared to death. I looked at the spot on my bed where she always slept, and guilt consumed me. How could I have given up that incredible creature for a soulless piece of metal? When I think about that night, I know for sure that it changed that carefree, immature boy I used to be forever. I realized what responsibility meant and had to admit that I'd failed my first super important life lesson. When morning came, there was a knock at our front door. In a minute, my mom called out my name. When I came rushing, the first thing I saw was a woman I didn't recognize with a dirty, shaking, but alive Nika in her arms. You can't imagine how relieved and happy I was. She handed Nika to me, and I burst out in tears, clutching my puppy close to my chest. Apparently the woman had just been on her morning jog in the park when she heard something whimpering in the bushes. When she went to investigate, she discovered my Yorkie, who seemed to have fallen into a hole in the ground and got stuck there. Unable to get back safely, Nika was crying for help. Our phone number was engraved on Nika's name tag. So I guess the woman had called, and mom wanted to surprise me and gave her our address. But the thing that broke my heart the most was that Nika was so excited to see me. She licked my face and wagged her tail as if nothing had happened. This innocent little pup had no idea that it was my fault she had spent the whole night cold, wet, hungry, and all alone. She still loved me and was glad to see me. I now know that getting a dog isn't just about learning responsibility. You're also getting a friend who will love you unconditionally and deserves only the best. So what was your first pet? And did it teach you any valuable life lessons? Let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go out buying yourself a puppy just yet. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.